What's going on out there, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Caveman Mods. Today, actually, it's nighttime. Same day I filmed that video, the last one I just put up by going to Underdog Barbecue. And uh, this one I'm gonna title, So You Want to Be a Truck Driver. If you can't do what I'm gonna show you I'm doing, then you can't, you ain't got what it takes. So I'm gonna get around here and show you guys what I'm working with. It's dark out, so you guys are gonna have to work with me. So, got a little bit of a mess going on here. Still hauling those reels. It's dark out here, guys. Uh, at the TA over here in London, Ohio. And on my way over here, well, I got into, uh, oh, just outside of Columbus, Ohio. I got around Columbus, and as I, as I got to about the middle of Columbus there, I started to get a really bad vibration, and I immediately knew I had a tire tread coming off, so uh i get over here to the nearest ta thankfully it was an outside tire so i can get to it and uh these old boys here at ta well they said it's gonna be sometime tomorrow afternoon before they can get to me so i went ahead now i'm gonna tell you i bought a used tire because i didn't want to put brand new tires on this uh, these tires are nearly two years old wore down and i'll be getting the new set here probably around christmas time or before winter hits so uh, I wasn't gonna put a new tire on here. And you now you put a new tire, you gotta put a new tire all the way across. You can't put one new one with an old one because you're gonna wear the new one out and that's just a waste of money. And you put two new ones on one side, well, people call that good, but what that does is it sets your axle a little crooked and it wears out the other side. So since these guys ain't gonna get me in here until sometime tomorrow afternoon, I took it upon myself to borrow their tools and I'm out here doing it myself. So, uh, let me get the rest of this stuff done up. I got some water in this tire right here. I got to get out. But once I get that water out of that tire, and it is a Hercules, it's a piece of crap, but it'll get me through a couple more months, hopefully, if it don't come apart. But uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is get that tire put on. Uh, I'm going to get it lubed up. I got to get some water out of it, but I'll get that done and I'll get back with you guys. All right. Just in case you guys ever thought I was full of crap, about how I do things. I'm gonna give you a quick example. <clears throat> you thought I was, you thought I was playing. No, I'm up here. I'm gonna get down here to y'all's level. I know y'all thought I was playing and somebody else is over here probably changing this tire for me. So I'm gonna show you I ain't full of crap. <sighs> so I'm gonna try to make this a quick video and let you know guys, this is my first time ever in my life changing a tire on one of these these big trucks uh, never put a tire on a rim changed rims took rims and tires and stuff off but yeah i ain't never done this watched several people do it so i'm gonna let you guys watch me make a fool of myself so let's get to it <sighs> i already got it halfway on that part's done Looking for these. That vice grip right there, that's what's gonna hold that tire on there. By walking on. You're gonna need at least two tire bars. Put your foot there on the bottom. Walk it on. And try not to kill yourself. I mess up too, guys. Okay, don't go after that side. Stick to one side.
Little by little. We're almost there, guys. Two bars, you gotta have two bars. I think this is my next investment. Maybe you gotta have three. Luckily I do. Sir, that's how that's done. Ah. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite part. See this here? I don't know if you can read that. Starting fluid. That tire ain't got a lick of air in it. Check this out. It's for all you new guys, anyways. I think you know a little something about something. Well, make sure you get some distance between the tire and the rim so you can get this inside because you want this to blow up in there. Check that out. Boom, tire on the beat, son. Ready to put some air in it, let's get on the road. Let's go make this money. That's what you do. That's what I do anyways. Be right back, let me get this truck turned on. We're gonna get some air in that. Get that sucker up to 110 pounds. We're back on the road, guys, hold on. All right, back at it. Maybe this is recording, I hope so. Get some air in this sucker and we can roll. Try to get this over here a little closer to me. All right, guys. Now that I got you here, got your attention, I want to talk to you about your car's warranty. It's about to expire. If you take one of these guys that just keep calling and checking up on you every day, you just tell them you want to renew that warranty and maybe tell them to stick that warranty where the sun don't shine like I do and maybe they'll stop bothering you. All seriousness, guys, I'm just kidding about that, just trying to be funny. Ooh, sweating my butt off out here, but trying to enlighten my mood a little bit. Uh, anyways, dead serious about this, guys. If you ain't willing to do this right here, and you ain't got what it takes to be an owner operator, at least not a successful one. You know, any which way you can to save a dime, you better do it. You watch your pennies and it makes you dollars. That's what I've always been taught. So, uh, that being said, guys, I ain't really got a whole lot to talk about in this video. I just wanted to show you guys I ain't full of crap, and I'm about it. I, 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 I do what I say I do. You know, this ain't none of that stuff where I say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I cut my video off and let somebody else do it, and look what I did. I don't take other people's credit. So, if you guys ain't going to do this, don't buy a truck. You know, it would have been ridiculous for me to sit here until sometime tomorrow, because then that would have put me to where... I'd have been stuck in Indianapolis over the weekend, and I'd have been missing Holly LS Fest. That's unacceptable for me. Same with going home for the weekend. I will be home every single weekend, no matter what, if I got to fly. I don't play that crap. I will be home with my family and my daughter. I miss too much time as it is. Not today. I ain't going to let something like this hold me down. Guys, I hope this was a little bit inspirational to you. Maybe it taught you a little something. And uh, I, I don't know, guys, but uh, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, sorry it's dark, and 
I ain't got the best video quality right now, but you guys do all that, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless you. Whoa, it's falling. Well, I can't get the camera turned off. Hold on.